so anybody with something new yes did you watch one of your members speak at the select meeting last night i did i think that's a very good point i wonder if he would like to talk about that perhaps oh um thank you um i, I did speak at the you need your speech i i have the facts memorized i don't okay. I'm, I, you, I'm sure you guys don't want me to read it so i won't um Pass that along to him. The essence of the matter is that uh, while there is a definite money issue involved here, yes. uh, and thus it has budget implications as well, to me, the issue is really comes down to really a one of democracy and our vote, voters being ignored. In the years past, this town, like all towns, used to vote by town meeting to create departments, especially in permanent positions in general. And uh, <coughs> as you know from last year, I had a sense that it was the town meetings authority and no one else's to create such positions. <coughs> and of course, everyone thought it was nuts. So I had to go find out where I got the sense from. And I, I decided to do some uh, uh, historical research at the, at the library. Uh, on all the Warren articles since SP, this town became SP2, which was 1997. And I found it such a fascinating experience after I was reading so many of them that I decided to start copy and paste them. Before I know it, I actually created a database, which, which is about to come up on HamptonBud.com as another research vehicle for you guys, or anybody. But when I saw that, I saw the uh, uh, one particular thing that was most glaring, there were other occurrences, but this one was the most glaring example of the voters being ignored. And it was three years in a row, a Warren article to create a permanent town planner. Three years in a row, the voters said no. The third year was 2000, and a couple months after the vote was taken, a full-time town planner was hired in direct contravention of the voter, which I find really deeply disturbing. I mean, the money isn't so much as important to me as, as what it means about the message that gets sent to the voter is, you know, <laughs> you're wasting your gas going to vote and you get this kind of thing going on. So it's very deeply disturbing to me. And I didn't know what to do about it. And I talked to a couple of the board of selectmen that existed last year on the board. And as I pointed out in that public comment, it became a sticky issue because, yeah, okay, the position was created unethically, even illegally, but we've got a, per a real human being in the position. You, you, it's it, you can't just fire a guy for that reason. It seems very difficult to do that. I certainly didn't want to do that either. I was just going where the facts took me. And so I kept my mouth shut, and I just tried to look at the issue, which is why I was driving the question, uh, you may recall, where is the legal authority to create this position? Where's the legal? But without pointing out on any one. But then when the, the town planner's position was recently vacated, to use a neutral term, uh, it became that time to drive that particular point home. And so that's what Monday's presentation was about. Uh, it was about simply that. We should not um, put another person, the town of Hampton should not put another person in that position because that position was created illegally in violation of the voters' will. The voters' will having been expressed three times. On two of those occasions, by more than two to one vote, I might add. And uh, I, would, I, would, I would suggest that uh, you know, there was, a, there was a report by Seacoast today, and I responded on Hampton Bud got comments. This is also my video snippet from my presentation there, if you want to go see it. But the manager had suggested that it's up to the planning board in today's Seacoast News article to hire or not hire that person. And while that may or may not be true from an organizational point of view, it is absolutely true that it's the Board of Selectmen's duty to allocate those monies. As you know, they have a default budget. They're going to be moving money around. And they have complete authority to move money from one line item to another. They can take the money out of that, that town planner's line item and move it somewhere else where they need it, maybe into the fire inspector's line item or wherever they think it's more appropriate. But it's wholly inappropriate to be spending money in a position that was created in such violation of the voters' will. That is just wholly inappropriate. 
And so that's why I was saying to them, please don't fill the position until you get the voters to approve the position. Just don't fill it. And I, 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 I think that this, this committee um, needs to see it also from a budgetary perspective. Because eventually we're going to have to face the question, because they're going to come here, potentially, if they ignore the voters' will again, and my expression of that will, which is quite possible, even likely, by some people's point of view, that they'll be coming here with that line item for our blessing. And uh, I can't uh, imagine how we can maintain our integrity, our oaths of office, in, 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 in blessing such uh, behavior. And uh, it probably might be wise to think about uh, letting the Board of Selectmen know that we as a committee uh, don't think the position should be filled until the voters approve of it. Um, it it's a touchy situation, but you know the time is right now since it's, it's a vacated position. Um, and I guess I can I can't really say much more than that other than ask uh, you know offer any answers to any questions you might have. Are you making a motion, Tim? Um, yeah, I would I would move that we send a, a, a message as a committee to the board of selectmen that they should not fill the town, which they should, let me rephrase this, <coughs> I move that we, we request that the Board of Selectmen remove the funds from the town plan and salary for this year and not propose any further funds for such a position until the voters explicitly approve it. I'll second that motion. Thank you. Open it for discussion. Um, something that we've got to uh, keep in mind, like you said a while ago, the planning board hires and fires mm -hmm. at that particular slot, at least historically. So they're the responsible party, not the board of select. So you're saying we should be going to the planning board? Well, not necessarily. There's a couple of ways of looking at it. The planning board, I don't think, has the money. I'm not sure where the money is for his salary now that I think about it. We have to check into that, where the money is actually physically located. It might be in the planning board's budget. I'm not sure. sure. Planning board's budget. I, think it is, I think it might be in the planning board's budget. And if that's true, and where that, that probably is where it is, and I'm not sure, then the planning board makes a decision by us sending a message to the selectmen may not necessarily cover the whole range of possibilities. The planning board can still go ahead and and hire somebody else to do it, and they might not even be aware, technically, of our desires as a budget committee. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're suggesting that I, I, we should send it to the planning board as well, the same message? I think you probably would want to send it to both boards, because technically the planning board's an independent board from the board to select them, technically. Mm -hmm. Anybody else want to add something to this before I do? I'd like to just say that um, Perhaps we should send something that is a written statement versus just a little verbal, uh, you know, a couple of sentences. Have an actual written statement mm -hmm. that whether well, Tim prepares it, you didn't happen to bring one, did you? <laughs> well, I, think, I think the words I just uh, said can be put in, in on paper mm -hmm. and address it to the board of selectmen and the planning board. Yeah, I, I think that's a very good idea. <coughs> I think it needs to be done in writing, and then it, through the chair, the chair s sends this message to mm -hmm. both of these boards. It's going to be someplace else on the budget, because I'm looking at the planning board no, budget here. It's in there. It's it, it may be under planner. Office of planning. Office of planning. Yeah, if you look at the you look at the month you look at the monthly financials. Dave. Well, then why wouldn't it be listed here under the? It's uh. It is there. Account number four one nine one three. What page is that on in this monthly? Uh, four. Four one nine one three. I wasn't sure where it was. I, th I think that's where it is. Right here. It's the thing that gave us the oh, If you look in this month's financials, number four sixteen. The thing that she gave us tonight. Do you have? What page is it on? Uh, four. Four. Okay. Well, you know. Four right. sixteen. Yeah. Okay. Why wouldn't it be in here? It's in there. It's, yeah, it's I'm not sure what page it's on. I don't have my book. Okay, but it says planning something in uh, Office of Planning. Now, I don't know if it's is planning that, is, board. Is that where it's at? Uh, under that one? Planning so board. Planning. So, okay. Office of 
Yeah, it's right there. Yep. Yeah. Are you guys are looking for that, David? You had a question? Or it was more of a comment. Um, I'm in agreement with Mr. Jones's well, criticism of doing this without or against what the voters wanted. Whether or not we need a town planner, I think, is a separate issue. Agreed. So I, I would be in favor of agreeing that it might have been done improperly, but I would like further discussion to understand the value of what a, having a town planner is. So before the board is a group issue something like that I'd, I'd like maybe I still need to look at everything I didn't see the meeting last night and whatever I would like to, to look at a few more right. things before I just to make clear um, you want to talk first Bob and okay. I'll take it up at the rear I think we've come to a conclusion and I don't have any comfort level with my understanding of the issue mm. to arrive at a conclusion tonight I would prefer we give the planning board the appropriate authority an opportunity to explain what they did, why they did it, and under what authority they were acting. If we just simply said you're wrong, we we made a conclusion, a judgmental conclusion, and maybe that's the correct one. But I I think fairness calls for that, giving them an opportunity to explain as their to position. why they hired the position. Yeah, yeah I, I might have some legal authority that we're totally unaware of, other than the voter legislative body. Yeah. You see what he's saying, Tim? Um, <clears throat> I, I don't, the only uh, problem that I see is that they're going to fill this position as quickly as possible before any resistance can be put up. And Tim, your, the research that you found was what year? 1998, 99, 2000. All right, so 14 years ago, you're saying that the voters voted against filling a position? Three years in a row. Accountable. All right, so between then and now, that position has been filled. Oh. Yes, and now it's vacant. No, I'm saying for the th for the past 13 years, that per position has been filled. Yeah, well, with the exception of a brief vacancy in 2005. I'm without knowing the details. I'm going to, right. if you allow me yeah. to dovetail on that, because you stopped at a crucial point. You've established where in history this yep. came in. It came very early into the advent of SB2 mm -hmm. that as we all know has its issues and has grown and so on and so <coughs> on through the years but also with SB2 came no means no how that applies to things is when you vote against something and you have a Warren article and you vote no no matter what it's on mm -hmm. You cannot do what that Warren article asked until you cure it by voting yes. Time differential doesn't make the difference that 14 years ago you didn't <coughs> need one. That still stands as a vote. The only question that might be out there is if there was an amendment and what the date of the amendment was from the beginning of SB2 and since I don't have that answer, we may want to put it off a little bit, but I have no problem with making it known that we have these questions. You may want to just delay actions on it because, yes, it does affect the budget, not only in the budget that we're looking at right now because there is a hole in that and we have a default budget that's going to have a lot of holes. There was also, I believe, um, time that was paid out of that budget by the person who resigned mm -hmm. so we may be talking about money that isn't even there anymore we have no idea in other words let's gather a little bit more information but the question arises that if you vote no and people don't take this serious enough if you vote no on a Warren article you cannot do whatever it was until you overturn it by voting yes and of course that needs another election so to correct one minute guys yeah to correct all right this defect as I'll choose to call it it's a defect because it was voted no three times the position was filled by the then town manager three months after four months three months after Tim within months, I don't within know months the month. of the no vote that was inappropriate all right you now have a position that's unfilled we're already in March. I, I believe the town manager 
has been acting as the town planner in um, the absence of the town planner. You have a position right now that, though it's not easy, could be maintained to the end of the year and go forward on next year's ballot and, and do it the correct way unless somebody corrects everything we're saying and we're wrong. Michael. One point you should, may not be aware of, you can borrow, lease, or beg from the RPC, a temporary planner, sort of like a temporary worker of some sort, right. but it'd be a planner you could use in the town to weather through the storm besides having mm -hmm. Fred, like you said. Because that leaves us in the position that if the planning board chooses to go its own way and do its own thing and, and not take any recommendations. Um, we're left in the position that we don't have to fund it in the next round. And not to have to be in that position all the way around because I think there's some very valid points here. And it doesn't just speak for this position. It speaks for a lot of positions that are cropping up out of nowhere. Mm, that the voter has. I, just, I think, I'm, I think I'm we need to be a little sensitive here. I'm not going to slide it over into anything else right yeah. now, but as you do with one, you set a precedent for the next yeah, one. Yeah, that's why I want to be sensitive about that's it. That's why I'm saying we have a unique opportunity right now with this vacancy mm -hmm. to correct it. It's my opinion, but just my opinion, that we're at a point in time where we have so much development we go going on that we do need a planner. But I think we need to go backwards and put it in so that there's no controversy on this in the future. Yeah. yeah, what I'd like to suggest, what Tim's talking about, is you should send it over to the town council to get his input. Because a lot of Warren articles were on this last ballot that affect the, the height of buildings and beach, the downtown area. You know, there's a lot of... A lot of work that requires the use of a town planner. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the fact that 14 years ago the voters turned it down, I mean, the job has to be done. There's probably legal requirements, otherwise the town will be sued in every time somebody want to put a building up out of the, how would they meet the requirements? Right. We don't, uh, go ahead, Richard. Richard. Does your research from that point on show that there may have been another warrant article later on to implement that, to fund that I, I, I went through uh, every year subsequent to that, because uh, I went all the way to 2010 mm -hmm. uh, in terms of collecting in my own database what I consider to be interesting warrant articles and I copied them into a separate database for later and analysis. Mike, you've kept your breast of this too through after the that I After that, I didn't do any more copy and pasting. I just looked for specific things like was there another warrant out of the town planner. And then I went five times from 2000 to 2012, this was last year, five times through them, scanning them through with my eyeballs. And I, I, Nothing. I didn't see anything, but the key point here is, is that in the 2000 annual report, you will see the manager's report speaking about having hired a town planner as one of his major successes even though in that same annual report it said the voters voted it down. Back to Mr. Kravitz's concern before you uh, continue. Uh, like I said earlier, the RPC can provide any assistance we need. That would be a professional that would be able to deal with the area and maybe not specific problems in Hampton, but when it comes to reading your ordinances, your building ordinances that they mentioned here, mm -hmm. he can probably look at that and see how to deal with it. Probably just as good as most anybody available to us, even if you went out and hired a, a so-called good planner. Because they have already had the experience in our area, the Rockingham County. So there's nothing wrong with using that approach. But who's going to who's going to conduct the day-to-day -day operation they, of the planning board? They have some that would be secretary and the three or four people who are working in that. He would be filling in like a temporary planner. This, this, that, yeah. That's I know. What, that's what, was, yeah, what was your motion? I have to. A number of towns use a temporary I just want to address some of the concerns that you just exactly. expressed in, in some right. sunny day. I hate to do Very the eight timer, but we have four. It's four minutes to ten. Yeah. And I need I need but to know the content of your motion. What you were dealing with was. 
really operational considerations and questions about whether the town planner should or shouldn't exist that is completely outside of my consideration and I think it's completely outside of the proper consideration of the budget committee the budget committee is in it intended to basically uh, you know throw holy water on the process of what money can be spent on and certainly if there is a question of legality especially when it's such a sensitive thing like the voters being ignored three years in a row and yeah it's been 14 years ago and so you can look at it in another way quite clearly for 14 years there have been citizens in this town that didn't feel like they could stand up and say anything they just they just sat at home and got angry at the government many maybe didn't even bother go vote again except each time they voted for the budget they were voting for the salary say, for the maybe they the never even voted again because they realized their vote didn't count no, I you see, the, the this remedy, is stepping over there. The we have, we have to get back to a motion. We have three yeah. minutes. We have three here. minutes. I want to get something in writing. Okay. Let's okay. Yeah. Let's so I guess the bottom line, line is, is whether or not is it the what motion. What's the motion? What is your motion, Tim? It's on. It's on the recorder. Well, I, I need to put it in writing. We need to put it in writing. The exact for our secretary. The motion was that this committee uh, send a communication via the chair to the Board of Selectmen and the Planning Board to take all necessary action to not fill the town planner position until the voters approve it, approve the town planner position that is. And I seconded it. So we and I know there was a di desire to, to, uh, to maybe table it for, for some research and I can certainly appreciate that and I'm even inclined to agree with you. Um, and I'm, I'm willing to table the motion if, if we're okay in giving a sense of the board that we consider this a serious matter. There's no question. It's a very serious matter, but I would not vote for any communication at this time that draws an absolute conclusion that what someone has done is illegal or wrong. Well, you have to research it, as I have, and I acknowledge that, and I'm really said, I'm happy to table the motion mm -hmm. if the body can agree to s that, that, that we agree that this is a very serious issue and it, it deserves careful attention yeah. and research, and that we take it up at our next meeting. Okay. I'm going to ask that. I'm is that reasonable ask, enough? I'm going to ask you to table it for further consideration to be reopened in our April meeting at which time we should have further research on the implications. So are you going to ask the town attorney or what, what's your plan for doing the research? Each individual on? member I assume is going to do research and they can begin most easily by going to HamptonBud.com. Um, you can go to library, I mean um, well, go to your favorite sources if you wish, but the facts are the facts. I will go and, to... And, and the facts are found in the I annual I reports. I will go to the planning board Okay, you want to go to the planning? I'll, I'll, I'll talk to the, I'll the, talk to the town attorney. Then. And I'll, no, I'll, think, I'll, t I'll take that challenge. I get along with them reasonably well. <laughs> and we will combine that information when we get it. Okay. All right. As a matter of fact, see if you'll even join us the for attorney? the April meeting. If I'll you can get no luck on that, but I wouldn't well, bank you on can that. You can ask, I because can I, ask I, it, it, it's a legal issue, and mm -hmm. we could do it early on before we do any, you know, before we proceed. And um, you can ask Mike. Sure. The worst that's happening, you're going to say no. <laughs> the planning the board may want him present to represent that's them. That's true, because it now, then we'd have this issue, who does he represent, okay. and it could get messy with that. But let's not go there, please. Okay. To me, it's far more than a legal issue, though. It's a credibility issue. It's a credibility of our government. That's at stake in my mind. Do we want this in, my heart. in the minutes? We definitely want this in the minutes. All right, so the motion is to send a communication to the voter selectmen in the planning board not to fill the town planner position, planning position until further research. Going no, to be tabled? No, I mean, that's the motion. Yeah. That wasn't his no. motion. No. I'll, I'll type up the motion for the recording. And, and but, but but what I'd like right to now, it's just noted that it's tabled. Is this what's tabled for reconsideration? Pending research for the April meeting. 
and I really, I really do thank the committee for giving this serious consideration. I do believe it's, it's, it's necessary that we give it serious consideration. Any other new business? I have no other new business. Does anybody have new business?